Hey guys, it's PopNerd here, and today we'll be going over how to create a sci-fi prop using modifiers. Now, when I say prop, I'm referring to basically anything that has a box-like shape, ranging from computers to crates. To get started, let's add in a cube and add a bevel modifier to the cube and smoothen the edges by going to the modifiers tab, adding the modifier and increasing the number of segments. In real life, there's no such thing as a perfect 90 degree angle, so beveling all sharp edges is essential to hard surface modeling. I have a general idea of what I'll be making today since I've already created this once, but I highly recommend using a reference image to help. To create a super basic slice on our prop, let's add in another cube and scale it down on the Z axis until the thickness is the same as the size of the slice that you want to make. Let's place the new cube where you'd like the slice to be and add a boolean modifier to the main cube. Set the operator to difference and the cutter object to the new cube we just added. Now if you turn off the visibility for the cutter object, you should be able to see where the cube has been sliced. You can adjust the scale of the slice by scaling the cutter object up or down. I want this prop to be symmetrical, so let's add a mirror modifier which will mirror the object across a given axis. I'll mirror this across the Z axis, and as you can see the slice has been mirrored. You can also get these same results by enabling the built-in bool tools add-on. Once you've enabled the add-on, add in your cutter object once again and hit Ctrl- with both meshes selected. Add a solidify modifier to the cutter object and you'll be able to adjust the values to get a different thickness. In this tutorial, I won't be using bool tools since the difference between the results are minimal in this case, but I recommend using it if you're planning to use lots of boolean modifiers in your workflow. Anyways, I'll repeat the same steps and add a slice at the top right of the box. Then I'll use a mirror modifier to reflect the slice across the Z and X axis. We can apply the previous mirror modifier to reflect the slice across the Z axis by simply dragging the new modifier above the mirror modifier. I want to add a screen in the middle part of this cube, so I'll add a cube for a cutter object, bevel the sides to give it curved edges, and scale it on the Y axis. Once again, let's use a difference boolean modifier to create the space for our screen. I'll duplicate the cutter object, scale it down a bit, and place it where we just created the space for our screen. I can now inset and extrude the face of the new cube. Let's repeat these same steps to create buttons under the screen. To duplicate any object along an axis, we can use the array modifier. I'll make a cutter object, use the array modifier to duplicate the object, and adjust the count and offset values. Then I'll add a difference boolean modifier to the main prop and set the new object as a cutter to add some detail to the side of the prop. Let's also use the array modifier to create more buttons next to the screen. Add in a cube and scale it down to the size of a button. Then use an array modifier to create more buttons on your horizontal axis and another array modifier to add more buttons on the vertical axis. I repeat the same steps to add handles to the top and bottom parts of the object. To texture this prop, let's grab some image textures from textures.com. Add a new material to the prop in the shading workspace, add an image texture to the base color. In edit mode, right click and unwrap the texture by clicking Q project. Now you can easily texture the prop in the UV editor by moving the selection around and scaling it appropriately. I repeat the same steps to texture the buttons and the rest of this prop. For the screen, go into the shader editor and replace the principal BSDF node with an emission node. Place this prop in your scene and there you go. These were just some super basic operations in hard surface modeling, but I recommend checking out CG Life's channel if you're interested in learning more modeling tips. Anyways, please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.